Hello YouTube community. We got another mail call unboxing to go over. Uh, we've got four in total. So uh, when we come back, we will see what mysteries and goodies lie inside. So if you want to know, come on back after the short video intro. See you soon. And we are back. Thank you very much for joining me today. Comic Sniper here along with my sidekick Mark 3. Welcome to my channel. And today, as promised, we are going to be doing a mail call unboxing. We've got four in total. There's going to be some keys in here, uh, some nice uh, newer books as well as uh, I believe Silver Age in here too. So um, these all uh, are eBay buys. So we will dig right in and see what uh, goodies lie inside. All right. So let me just put some of these away. We'll start with package number one. As always, I ask, I always ask them to put do not bend on the boxes just for the, you know, just for kicks and giggles, shits and giggles, basically. Uh, but this one did get a little bit crunched up but since uh, the box seems pretty sturdy and uh, let's hope it didn't get damaged I'm pretty hopeful it doesn't seem to be uh, uh, too extensive so we'll get to opening this hopefully everybody's doing well uh, we're getting right into the summer months very soon so Definitely enjoying the warm weather. I think we all deserved it after, a, at least for, for myself, a very long, <laughs> seems like a long winter. Okay, so. And he's got some bowl wrap. This is a big one. Just a second. Just gonna get my trusty stand out and okay so we'll do it this way oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ah, butterfingers all right so uh, for the first one we have ta-da that is a big book that's my that's an amazing spider-man Number 50, first appearance of the Kingpin. Um, oh, there's a huge glare. Let me see if I can't. Be right back and take that glare off. Ah, much better, much better. Okay. So, yeah, first appearance of the Kingpin. This is a, you know, again, uh, not a high grade copy. You can see there's a lot of color loss right there I didn't expect it to be a high grade copy I didn't pay a lot for it uh, there's also a nice check out that date stamp that's pretty cool how they got it placed right in there I think that's a that's a great placement of I'm not uh, I'm not opposed to date stamp I think it gives it character uh, this one says April 8th P06 I'm not sure what that Let's see if you guys can see that I don't know if you guys can make that out. I'll have to take a closer look. But definitely, uh, yeah, every, every time I pick up, uh, every time I see these books going for cheap, I uh, definitely want to pick it up. Oddly enough, I've been looking for this book all last year. Couldn't find one. This is my third copy. <laughs> so it's just funny how uh, things work out when you, when you start looking for it, actively looking for it, how it just kind of falls out of the sky. But yeah, definitely uh, enjoy this. Okay, so moving right along. Uh, let's put that back here. Okay, and number two box coming up. All right, this feels more uh, solid. Nothing, <clears throat> nothing moving around in there. That's always a good sign. And there's another good sign when it's packed to the to the top with bubble wrap. Okay. 
and they did a nice job packing the bottom also with bubble wrap so yeah nothing moving around okay this is more um, Can't find the tape. There we go. That's better. Be careful to slide this guy out. Okay. Yeah. Last couple of pieces of tape, just for good measure. So let's put away Spider-Man for now. And this time we have two books. Okay. And the first one is Uncanny X-Men, number 120. Uh, first appearance of Alpha Flight. Oh. That's a little too far. Let's get a little bit closer. So yeah, first appearance of Alpha Flight. This is a nice one. Should be, you know, a pretty good uh, mid-grade copy. We've got uh, just upon quick inspection, we've got a uh, just a couple of spine ticks right there. Maybe a little bit of a blunted, blunted corner. But aside from that, very, yeah, it's exactly what I was expecting. Or from this book really uh, really trying to pick up and collect the uh, the run of X-Men uh, the new X-Men specifically from 94 on up okay so that's one and then the second book that was acquired with that one got a good deal on this so that's why I picked them both up ta-da so that was one uh, so 120 and then now 129. This one has lots of first appearances in it. Uh, it's got Kitty Pride, um, Emma Frost, which is the White Queen, uh, Sebastian Shaw, I believe his first appearance is here, and as well as the, I keep thinking the Brotherhood, but it's, it's not, it's the, ah, brain, uh, anyways. I can't remember. If you guys rem remember, uh, go ahead and uh, by all means leave it down below. Uh, leave a comment down below and enlighten us on that. Uh, this one, this is my second copy of this. Uh, this one is not a high grade. It's got a subscri subscription crease uh, running down the middle of this one. And it's got uh, more issues than... Um, I can probably show you here but <laughs> it's uh it's been it's been around so but still uh, a still a good copy and still a very key uh, issue and you know someday uh, this should be um, it should be worth a lot more than it is right now I feel that this is an undervalued um, this is an unvar undervalued issue with so many characters his first uh, first appearance so that's why I'm, I got picked up this one all right liking that okay up next let's go with the big one um, this one's got a little bit of tape there Didn't put any do not bend on it, but it seemed to have survived okay. We got uh, some paper packing in there and bubble wrap along with some stiff cardboard by the looks of it. 
Oh, check that out. Something went ripping, ripping through there. That is not, uh, ooh. All right. Well, this is how you know this is live because if this is damaged. <laughs> We're both gonna find out together and I'm gonna have to go through, uh, well, this is from eBay, so it's they have a they have a good buyer's protection, and I'm not worried. But it's just going to be disappointing. See how it? Uh, this is where it's taped to, and it looks like this is this will be my evidence to see how you can. It it seems like some something is sliced through there. Either somebody opened the box. Um, yeah, I think somebody, somebody might have retaped this because it's sliced open and retaped. This could be the, the, uh, immigration because this is coming from U.S. So Canada, uh, to Canada. So they might have opened this up to see what's inside. And by doing so, rip that baby up. And somebody was really strong and got right in there. Uh, let's see if uh, hopefully, hopefully they just missed the book. Because it looks like it's also packed. I mean, this guy did a really good job packing. I must look at it. It's even. It's even in uh, cellophane. Kind of an overkill, but you know, in this case, definitely might have just saved this book. Okay, got my fingers crossed that hopefully they just didn't get to the actual oh it's in its books <laughs> okay Let's get rid of that so you know kudos to him for so this side this side is the the side that got um so this is the front cardboard that didn't get uh, damaged. So we'll see if the and the book seems to be cellophane to this side. trying to bust into this thing okay so it looks like it survived this is the this was the one facing the um, that board with the cut mark so it didn't this is why you use backing boards, uh, stiff cardboard. So it didn't, it got through here, but not here. So, and of course there's an extra backing board here. And we've got three books. Okay, let's put those aside. So from this seller, I picked up, let's take a look at what we have here. The first one is, Another Uncanny X-Men, number 142. Um, this is the, uh, the storyline. Um, what do you call that? Uh, part of the, part of the storyline for, I believe, um, uh, what's the movie? I don't know why I can't think today. 
but anyways it's not it's not a huge key this is just a uh, part of the the run that I want like I said I'm, I'm trying to collect so that's why I've got uh, I've got a 142 oh, let's see if we can't there we go okay and then next up we also have amazing spider-man 263 this is first appearance of normie osborne this book has been heating up uh lately i you know what can't can't seem to find it in the wild i've, I've looked around at uh, some of the lcs but uh, i can't find it this is um um the uh the, this is getting to be a, a pretty good uh, book to have so we'll see where this goes and then lastly we also have Brave and the Bold number 33 uh, this is just an awesome uh, awesome cover and uh, one uh, one book that I, uh, I made a deal with uh, to have all three I don't know if there's anything key in this one I can't quite remember I um that's what happens when you get old boys and girls you just you know maybe one of the first things is your memory starts to go but uh, i don't think there's anything on this uh issues particularly um key but i do i do like the the cover of this uh quite a bit so that's why uh you know i've uh, i've always wanted to uh own one and now i do all right so those are the those are the three books from that seller and we're left with and there can be only one so this is the final one let's crack this baby open and let's see what we have inside So this one arrived in really good shape. Nice mailer, comic mailer. It's uh, very sp spiffy. Probably gonna end up reusing that. And then, and to top it off, he uh, he wrapped it in a bag, which is very good. And then. Put a uh, nice two pieces of nice stiff cardboard to boot. So, okay, and it's in a mylar. <laughs> okay, time to put that aside. There is a there is a backing board on this, but it's uh, it's. I take it this guy does shows because the only time I ever see people putting backing boards in the center folds are people in shows that like to show up the back cover as well as the front and the book we're featuring here is the Eternals number one now uh, this is there you go have a let's have a look at that Again, this is not a super high grade. Uh, it's got a really bad miswrap too. Now, as far as I know, CGC does not um, downgrade a lot for miswrap. I know it's not pretty. Uh, some people really hate it, and you know can uh, can't stand uh, when it you know things like centering and so forth. But as far as I know. When it comes to because if you look in the back, uh, it's not it's not a spine roll, okay, so it's just a it's just a miswrap. So I believe they did you know you know you can you can chime in if you want uh, on this, but I do believe that if, if I was to send this into CGC, this uh, even though it's not pretty. Like most people think it's very ugly to, to have a, a non-standard book and that's fine, you know. Um, but uh, as far as grading is concerned, uh, they, uh, they, don't, they don't discount this uh, to be very much at all. 
okay maybe a half a grade if any right uh, depending on how bad it is and how severe it is uh, that kind of thing but as far as I'm cons as far as I know um, this isn't uh, you know hasn't been graded down that much but aside from that it's got it's got some soiling uh, you know it's got a couple of uh, looks like some dirt that can probably uh, yeah definitely needs dry cleaning same with the back nothing too too drastic But uh, yeah, looks to be in there. Uh, aside from that, really good shape. No huge creases or or tears or anything on that. I'm gonna find out. I'm, I'm pretty sure this was a, a pretty good. Okay, all right. So just a recap. The first book we got was. Uh, my amazing Spider-Man 50. Love this, love this cover. First Kingpin. And then we got the 120 of Uncanny X-Men, which is the first uh, Alpha Flight. A uh, lot of firsts in this one. And it's 129, Kitty Pride, um, Sebastian Shaw, White Queen, Emma Frost, uh, and something else. <laughs> and we also got the, a 142, just for uh, just for the fun of it, I also got uh, first Normie Osborne 263 Spider-Man, um, Brave and the Bold 33, and of course uh, Eternals uh, number one. So always gonna put the the biggest key for the last. So okay, so that is it for my. A uh, little unboxing um, mail call. Uh, again, I thank everybody for uh, subscribing my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. Um, and uh, you should be seeing some names popping up on the screen anytime right around. I think it's this side. <laughs> I can never remember which side. I th oh, I think it's on this side. So, But the name should be in the middle. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Uh, again, if you guys want uh, your name uh, appearing on my future videos as well, I'd be happy to do that. I don't ask for much. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, right? And then uh, once uh, once I go through the rotation, uh, get the get the people that are that have subscribed before you uh, through, then definitely I'll I'll be more than happy to uh, have your name on there as well. So, and again, if you uh, if you like to if you like my unboxing, my my mail call unboxing, and you want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. I would really you know that's really appreciated as well. Uh, always welcome any comments you guys have, uh, what you like, what you didn't like, what you want to see different, how you want to see things, and uh, definitely if you can uh, if you can hit the uh, the the ring. Uh, ring that uh, notification bell that's it uh, as well so you won't miss out on my uh, future videos when I when I make them you'll be notified sorry about that I had a little technical difficulty there but uh, anyways just closing up this video everybody uh, again appreciate you guys tuning into my channel and uh, on behalf of myself comic sniper and along with my sidekick uh, mark 3 my flying Iron Man uh, wish you guys well and while you and also while you guys are out there hunting for uh, all those comic books whether you're doing it on eBay uh, Instagram Facebook wherever you go local comic book store make sure you enjoy the hunt all right guys thanks a lot bye bye